What is up everyone? I haven't been showcasing all those support characters properly, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at Sing Chu especially. So, as far as we know, he is one of the best characters to have in Genshin Impact. Even if you do not have any constellations, he is going to be a very, very good Hydro Applier for your Pyro DPS. Let's first take a look at his stats. Right now, I am using Jade Cutter. You can feel free to use Sacrificial Sword because I believe that that is another best inside weapon for Sing Chu. Right now, he has 2100 attack, 73% critical rate with a 186% critical damage, 182% energy recharge, and 66% hydro damage bonus. I don't like this number, what the hell is this? Jade Cutter R5, don't care about it. He's gonna be still great with the R1 Jade Cutter, and I still believe that Sacrificial Sword is a lot better. Sacrificial Sword is on par with Jade Cutter, or even better, because... For his talent, his E, he has crazy amount of multiplier here, so being able to use E twice, that's like a burst damage, imagine. At level 8, even if you don't have constellations, his E twice, that's 1000%. And I have crowned my Q, just because, for this showcase. I love you guys, okay? So constellations, I have C6. Notable constellation for Sing Chu is C2. That decreases Hydro Res of the opponents when they're hit by the Rain Sword, by 15% for 4 seconds. This makes him even better support, even for other Hydro characters. Especially for Child, of course. And then C4 increases his Fatal Rain Screen by 50%, okay? And C6, this doesn't only give him more energy, but also greatly enhances the third sword rain attack. So from 3, it does 5 attacks. Holy shit. Extra swords? It doesn't say you get 2 more swords. It just says greatly enhances the third sword rain attack. So... There's that. More hits as a support means a lot. Just kind of like how C2 of the Ayaka is making her a lot better a support at the point when she uses Q because she does extra hits with her cryo, allowing D-Look or other pyro characters to just kind of charge attack or use their skills and have all their skills to be melted. For the artifacts, I am using 4-piece emblem fate set. So... We are at GOV shop. We're gonna see how much damage he's gonna do with this setting, okay? Are you looking at this? His... Each sword does like... 10k damage! <laughs> We're gonna check one more thing. We're gonna see how much damage he's gonna do with the Sacrificial Sword. Okay? I just want to show you that Sacrificial Sword is as good as Jade Cutter. Okay, so with the Sacrificial Sword, you can actually lose the Energy Recharge Sands and give him Attack Percentage Sands. Because his lack of energy charge is all made up by his sword. So now he has 76% critical rate with the 140% critical damage. He still has the 4-piece emblem face set. Weapon is now R5 Sacrificial Sword. If you have higher refinement on Sacrificial Sword, that just means that there's a better chance for you to reset your elemental skills. That's about it. It is very important, but you can kind of neglect it if you're a low spender or F2P. Because we can just only hope that we will get extra Sacrificial Sword in the future, right? On my NA account, I still don't have any Sacrificial Sword. So that's going to be a little difficult for me. But anyways, guys. So we are going to test out how much damage Sing Chu is going to do with his Rain Cutter. I mean, for his Q. Is that the same thing? Here you go. So you, you notice that you do less damage, right? I do like 8,000 damage each sword. So you can now see that there may be a little bit of a damage difference, but it's all coming due to the refinement of my Jade Cutter. Unfortunately, I cannot test out the R1 Jade Cutter. I meant to say, unfortunately, I don't have R1 level 90 Jade Cutter, but you can see that this Sacrificial Sword is doing on par damage with Jade Cutter. Your sword damage doesn't have to do like 12k, 10k, no. 
No, you don't have to do that. However, main purpose is to make your pyro DPS to do reverse vaporize so that you can maximize their DPS. And also, if you are using him in a taser team, he's gonna help you probably to make your child do extra damage. Yeah. And not only that, but he can use E twice here and there. So you don't have to worry about the energy particles and everything. So let me try this Sing Chu on a different team. All right. So this is not really a preferred team, but it's okay because we have Spinet and Sing Chu in the team. But I just wanted to show you the effect on Sing Chu for your Hydro Enabler. So here we are by Geo Bishop. So here we go. You guys ready? So, this is the damage with Sing Chu and on Bennett's Q. We're gonna try that without Sing Chu's Q, okay? Okay, here we go. And then for the reference, this is Sing Chu's damage. That was about 8k damage with Bennett's Q, right? Anyhow, I still believe that Sing Chu's ability or Sing Chu's existence is to make your Pyro DPS to do 1.5 times more, but it wouldn't really hurt for you to have Sing Chu in the team. Stay tuned, guys. We have another team that I would like to introduce you that uses Tartag and Sing Chu and two more with another content creator. So, for the artifacts, it is okay for you to go for 4-piece Fate Set, or you can go for 2-piece Hydro for the extra Hydro damage bonus, and 2-piece Noblesse for that 20% extra Q damage, right? And when you're using Sacrificial Sword, it is okay for you to ditch all the energy recharge stats in the artifacts and go for Attack Percentage Sands, Hydro damage bonus, and Critical Chance or Critical Damage depending on what kind of stats you have in the substats, but you would probably have to go for critical rate circlet main stats. And when you have Jade Cutter, you can probably use 4-piece Fate Set with the critical damage circlet. Anyhow, I hope this video would help you out how to build Sing Chu. And we're also going to release a tier list video soon, so stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Adios.